dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEBS Schools. This is Fatma Sabin Shikha, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Russian School, Morinche. Today I am going to take Bangladesh and Global Studies class for the students of class 3 on the topic of short note. Today we will learn about our society and the children's rights. First, our society. You have to write about your society. What can you see and learn from your society? That's all. Our society consists of group of people and their activities. Since the dawn of civilization, people tend to live together. So, we also like to live in groups of families and villages in society. We live with our parents, siblings and grandparents. Our neighbors also live around us. They come to help us in danger. We also help them when they need. On different festivals, we invite our relatives, friends and neighbors. They come to our house. We also go to their house. Thus, we live together peacefully in the society. Students, in this short note, you know, we live in a society, in a family and a village. There, we find our parents, siblings, grandparents. Parents means father, mother. Siblings means your brother, sister, cousin, and grandparents. Our neighbors also live around us. That means we all we make our society. We help each other in our dinner time. When someone needs help, we help them. And we also help by others when we need help. So you have to write on this. Next, the children's rights. Like every human being, the children also deserve some rights in the society. We know as a human being, we have some basic rights. So as children, we have also some rights in the society. The rights that the children need to grow up properly with safety and security are called the children's rights. So, as a child, you have the right to get safety and security. This includes the right to birth registration, the right to a name, the right to be loved and get affection, the right to food and health care, the right to play and to rest, the right to education, the right for girls and boys to have equal treatment. Here, we find discrimination in our society about girls and boys. But, there is no discrimination, we hope, for our girls and boys. Because, as a girl or boy, we have same rights. We want to play, we want to rest, we want to get affection, whether we are girl or boy, it doesn't matter. It is the duty of the family, society and the state to fulfill this children's rights. That means it doesn't matter whether I am a girl or boy. The matter is, I am a child and I have some rights and these rights will be given by our family, society and the state. That's all for our class. Hope you have understood to this topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.